now we really have to hurry because I think the longer we wait, the more likely it's gonna be that I get fined and I don't really wanna pay money. No way. Huh? Nice one. I'm gonna cry. Leave me alone, please. from Via Reggio in Italy. Woo! Finally something I like. <laughs> so we arrived yesterday, uh, it was today actually at 5 a.m. Uh, yes. And we slept through like the whole morning and now we just realized that you need a ticket for parking. And we didn't do that so now we have to check on our car and please for God's sakes I don't want to pay so a fee. Just... I'm really hoping uh, not to find any like bad surprises so let's go check. Please 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 please, 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 please. Please don't tell me there's a ticket. No there's nothing. For real? Yeah for real. Oh my gosh. In our hometown Zurich we probably have gotten like two tickets by now. Yeah but now we have to go and buy one before we actually get one. <laughs> let's go find let's the go. ticket shop and let me get my glasses for my car. It's actually past 2 p.m. now and apparently between 2 and 4 p.m. everything's closed so yes. I guess we're gonna go to the beach and just risk to get fined because I don't want to wait here until 4 so yeah that's what we're gonna do an Italian brand it's a peach iced tea and it's my absolute favorite uh, it doesn't exist anywhere else in Europe as far as I know uh, except like in special supermarkets I've seen it in Switzerland otherwise I haven't really seen it it's really good how is it oh, I miss this so much it's so good mm. it's very sweet though I'm drinking this very manly uh, watermelon sugar type granita. It's just water and syrup. You're still with your sunglasses and your shirt. I'm like the typical tourist. I know I don't look like a white Swiss guy, but I act like a white Swiss guy. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful day at the beach, finally! Do, do you remember the mountains when I told you next vacation I'm gonna decide? Get me out of here! Okay, next vacation I'm gonna decide. The beach, okay? The beach. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> the water is actually really nice. It's quite clean. It's beautiful. And it's also warm. Okay, that was our little hangout on the beach. Did you like At it? At the beach. At the beach, sorry. So we're finally done with the beach. Uh, how did you like it? Did you enjoy it? I love it. Oh. <laughs> the question is if you enjoyed it. <laughs> no, I liked it. She's here all the time. I never go to the beach usually because of work. But yeah, so now um, she knows a really good place for ice cream or gelato. 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 What's your favorite? There's many. I like cookie. Bacio di dama, fior di latte. I don't, don't understand a word. I mean, let's just uh, <clears throat> show you guys. Uh, we're gonna go there and hopefully try some good ice cream. And then we're gonna move on to Pisa to have some dinner. Yay! So, yeah. Oh, and also, this shirt is everything. I mean, he's sexy and he knows it. <laughs> it's the only shirt I had. <laughs> Oh my god. 
just a mess. It's a mess, but it's so good. He literally took the heaviest, the most calorie induced ice cream. That's what he took. It's heavy, but it's good. This lady was so nice. This was incredible. She even let me go back to the kitchen to like wash my hands and stuff. She was really friendly and I'm uh, really excited. I love the friendliness, the hospitality and everything was great. Yeah, Thanks welcome for showing to me. Italy. Remember like earlier we were looking for like a parking ticket. We still haven't found one. Um, so now we really have to hurry because I think the longer we wait, the more likely it's gonna be that I get fined and I don't really wanna pay money. No way. Nice one. I'm gonna cry. Leave me alone, please. So what happened, uh, we checked the ticket and we actually had a fine of 46, I think, 46 euros. That's pretty expensive. So we're on a really tight budget for this trip. So that means for us that we probably can't do all the things we wanted to do. Now we're on our way to Pisa because we have a table booked for two. We're kind of running late, but yeah, that's how it is. So what I find funny here is that the tower is like a pretty famous spot for tourists, but I think right around the tower it's a pretty shady area, pretty yeah, shabby. I mean... Uh, mm -hmm. well, it's cool. But then all of a sudden, you see like the historic walls. Like the first time I was surprised, I was like, there's no way there is like a historic tower right over here, but yeah. Um, then I was pleasantly surprised, so let's see. We're kind of in a hurry, Mel and I, because we still have to make it to the restaurant in... I think two minutes. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, I don't know, I have to check it out. I think we're already late. There she is. This is the Tower of Pisa, the famous tower. And as you can see, it's a bit tilted to my left side. And um, I don't know, <laughs> tell me what you think. Do you think it's as cool as you saw in pictures or maybe not so much? <laughs> I think it's cool. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I don't care about the tower. I actually got a typical Tuscan dish. It's called Papa al Pomodoro. And it's literally like tomato paste, but like with fresh tomato. It's not like a, a tube paste. It's like freshly made and it has little clams and stuff in there with some parsley and it's really good it also smells really fresh yeah i'm gonna try it it's so good it literally tastes like just fresh tomatoes with olive oil and just the juices of the clams mix in so well with the tomatoes i have orecchiette with fish and tomatoes Psst. get in here Last time we were here, the food was better. We got fooled. <laughs> Finally done with our little meal. Sorry for the energy being so low today. Yeah. I think uh, we're just really tired from the drive yesterday. Oh, that was one hell of a ride. <laughs> and um, honestly, you know, Mel and I, we've been to this restaurant one time and we didn't book a table. We just came there and it was so good. It was really good. Yes, and it was, it was last year during COVID. The woman in the kitchen, she was alone and she cooked such a great meal. This time it wasn't that good, honestly. No, it was like, kind of weird. I mean, I expected it to be better and it just wasn't. And I ordered the same thing as last time, but I was so disappointed by it. Even the dishes didn't look the same. She ordered the same exact dish. I think we can put uh, in two pictures right here yeah. for you guys. The dishes even don't even look the same anymore. So that's, yeah, it's a little bit disappointing. So let me just tell you for every tourist out there, Pisa is not that worth the visit. Like if you really want to see the tower just because it's a bit tilted, Sure, go ahead and come here, but there's not much to see except for that tower. And Italy has so many beautiful places that are amazing that it's just not worth spending like too much time in Pisa. Let's have another last look at the tower because it's really beautiful, but that's all it is to Pisa, so yeah. <laughs> I think it looks pretty nice, but really that's all it is to it. So if you want to come, come visit. But just letting you know, there's not much more to this than this little tower right behind me. There's a cathedral as well. 
and like these bulky thing. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> Okay guys, back from Pisa. It was fun and don't get me wrong guys, Pisa is uh, beautiful for the tower, but we want to show you, especially in the next video, how Italy and especially those spots who aren't really known for tourists are very beautiful. We're also going to show you some local dishes. It's going to be really exciting and really cool and I can't wait. I love these types of adventures. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like and I'm going to see you on the next adventure. Have a good one. Bye! If you didn't know, Mel has actually a little house here. Yes, I miss it every time I'm in Switzerland. I miss the beach and the food and stuff like that. But now we're here, yay! So this is my world today. And it's my way of getting a free vacation. So it's actually pretty quiet here and I like that. It's pretty peaceful and as I say that a car passes by. <laughs>